And VTS was trending yesterday, the 10th of October, 2025, settled uh, with a gain of 2.88%. Later on, uh, discounted further in the post-market session, down to a gain of 2.5%. Intraday high in that session, $9.79. So a lot of, a, an above average volume uh, traded in that session, 90, what do we have, 95.2 million shares, even though, that is not the highest so far this year. It was, uh, I think the highest so far this year, maybe that of uh, the 10th of June, that they printed uh, 133, 133 million shares. Uh, yeah, 133 million. As a matter of fact, it, have, it has actually even done more. You can see here on the, let's see, 133 million. Let's see, what well, is a date printed 140. Okay, 28th of March, it printed uh, 140 million. So. Mm, 90 million oh it's, it's still above average especially of late of late yes of late since um i would say since uh, since since imprinted it's uh, printed this uh i would say intraday high or the 2025 high probably 52 week high it has this 92 million is uh, this is probably the highest since then i, I would say so as things start right now, the extrapolation is saying that um, it may begin to decline by Monday, yeah, and maybe settle by Thursday the 16th, then the uptrend may resume. Okay, what could possibly justify that? We, we, we'll try and see later on. Um, let's see, price pressure momentums. Let's move this. Okay, the price pressure momentums on its uh, 10 and 21 day moving averages are both uh, trending. Everything is trending. However, they have uh, fractional uh, second derivatives indicating that, um, yes, yeah, selling pressure is uh, is available, is there, you know, and maybe that's why the algos, algos are suggesting that maybe it may not be able to maintain the strength beyond um, yesterday, beyond yesterday, maybe. Okay, so uh, yes, the, the positions opened all the way back to 21 days ago, and even yeah, up to 21 days ago, are still very much in profit. Yeah, and I think uh, that is probably the same with um, yeah, that's that should equally be the case over the fourth over over the last 40 to 200 days ago. They are, they're still very much in profit as things uh, stand right now. Projections are saying 8.04 8 down projection, 8.35 is just a slight upper projection. Uh, 9.79 intraday high printed. Uh, let's see, its all time high is 11.79. So, what are the odds that it can um, retest this high of uh, 11.79? Okay, what do you know? 8.98, 8 as a matter of fact, not 11.79, 8.98. So, all we can do is. Um, just add our um, standard deviation value and we'll be able to try and uh, calculate that try uh, standard deviation um, indicator standard deviation yes apply that so we are looking for the probability of it retesting 8.98 as a matter of fact what are we talking about 9.79 we should be talking talking about something should be should we should be talking about 9.79 but unfortunately we don't have um enough data for that that's a problem let's see 9.79 um it has already it has already printed um 8.98 it's not not um not that far off from where this it is right now we should be talking about 9.79 um, um in any case we don't have 9.79 on this daily chart. Let's have a look and see if we have it on the four hour chart. We may be able to get a moving averages there. Uh, what do we have here? 9.13. Okay, we'll, we'll make do it with uh, 9.13. So we'll take that. And this is where the moving averages are. So we'll take the first moving average. The first moving average is its uh, 10 period moving average. Okay, so our target is 9.13. We come here to the Z calculator, 9.13. All we need to do is uh, enter that there. That's our raw score, 9.13. And the moving average we saw earlier on, what was that? Yeah, 
it was uh, 8.01 standard deviation let's see what we have down there standard deviation is 0 0.3 So let's see what we what we get what we'll get. Okay. So okay, the probability of it retesting 9.13 is saying it is 90. No, no, sorry. It's saying that um it's uh very, very slim. Sorry, highly you can see that here. This is way less than let's see now. We have 0 0.0 0 0.009. That's the probability of it uh, retesting that. Okay very very slim not not there but within that there's still something within that there's still something okay and then um the probability of it staying between 8.01 and uh, 9.13 is uh, 50 percent okay so could it be that that's you can see the algos nothing is pointing to the up or to the top to the upside everything is uh it, it's you know uh pointing uh to the downside even on the daily chart could that be the case could that be the reason it may it may possibly be the reason yeah it may possibly be the reason okay here on the on the daily chart we saw projections um previous projections that said um the highs of around uh, let's see what we have here 11.79 14.12 well but in any case uh the stock was trending yesterday let's see what's going on let's see we'll try and find out what's going on with uh with the stock We'll find out uh, why it's, uh, it was trending yesterday. There's uh, some chatter going on around uh, about about it. Okay. Uh, Navitas Semiconductor, NVTS, is trending as investor chatter intensifies around its potential role in NVIDIA's AI power solutions, fueled by growing speculation of a strategic supply shift and possible accumulation ahead of major news. The latest buzz stems from NVTS's manufacturing transition. The company is moving production of its gallium nitride GAN chips from 6-inch to 8-inch wafers through a new partnership with Power Chip Technology Corporation. This shift is a critical cost reduction and capacity expansion strategy, giving Navitas the ability to produce more GAN chips at lower per unit costs a major competitive advantage as AI infrastructure demand surges. Meanwhile, its longstanding partner, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, will continue supplying 6-inch wafers until at least mid-2027. This ensures supply chain stability during the transition period, allowing Navitas to ramp up without disruptions, a detail that's not lost on bullish investors. AI NVIDIA speculation. Community discussions are increasingly tying this move to NVIDIA's growing need for more energy efficient AI server power solutions. Many traders believe Navitas's GAN technology could play a bigger role in NVIDIA's ecosystem, helping reduce power consumption in high performance AI data centers. This has also fueled rumors of pre PR accumulation where some speculate that smart money may be positioning before a potential partnership announcement or expansion. Trading sentiment, breakout watch. Retail sentiment has leaned bullish in recent sessions with several traders calling for a technical breakout and setting double digit price targets in anticipation of news flow or stronger Q4 guidance. Unusual options activity and higher than average volume are adding to the momentum narrative. Cautionary notes. However, not everyone is on the hype train. Some community members are urging caution, noting that the GAN market is becoming more competitive with multiple players racing to capture AI and EV demand. Others are watching closely for the next earnings report, concerned that weak near-term financials could stall the rally even if the long-term story remains strong. Bottom line, NVTS is at a pivotal moment. Its wafer transition strategy and rumored deeper involvement with NVIDIA's AI infrastructure could significantly boost the margins and growth prospects, but execution, competition, and earnings will determine whether this momentum translates into a sustainable uptrend 
or just another speculative spike. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video.